All right, I'm about to switch it up. If any of y'all don't know what DBZ is or DBS is, y'all niggas is fucking clueless. Top three things the T.O.P. did better in the manga. Tournament of Power did better in the manga. At number three, we have Master Roshi imitating Ultra Instinct. I was honestly getting tired of Roshi's presence in the DBS I don't know how. universe. But I don't know how. <laughs> Roshi an OG. Niggas don't be respecting the old characters, bro. Come on. Put some respect on Roshi. Tien and them need to step up. My son Yamshi need to step up. I think, uh, what's my son name? Chaozu, he's clipped. He's out of there. He ain't really doing too much or nothing. Krillin need to step up. But these, these background characters, bro, they had a very big impact on the beginning of, this, of DBZ. Even before then. But they definitely, for me, they added, they added extra, you know what I'm saying? Extra perspective and extra character. And I feel like they need to... They need to start incorporating them more, bro. Even Goten and Trunks. Niggas be bugging, bro. Come on, son. Seeing him help Goku tap into Ultra Instinct. Now, this was fire. I fuck with this. As is, it, To me, it proves that you're never too old to still be to, to still learn something from your master or from a teacher or some shit like that, bro. Never too experienced, you know what I'm saying? We are all human beings. Well, you get it? But niggas is all still learning, bro. There's mad shit that you can still learn or, 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 or get from. The people who taught you thus far, even if you feel like you've surpassed them, bro. I listen. I when 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 crackheads or bums or whatever, them, and they talking to me about their life and these I listen, cause they got I listen. If you can't listen to the garbage man speak or or, or a bomb or whatever you want to call these these people or old head or whatever talk, bro, you lost. Cause at the end of the day, they got experience of life, my nigga. Like they could tell you some shit. That you may not be like, all right, at this point, I might be able to use this. But at the same time, bro, they've experienced some shit that you haven't. They have perspective or insight on some shit that you do not know anything about. And it may say, it may not save you now, but it may save you later, bro. So I listen to everybody the same. You could be the richest nigga in the world. You could be the brokest nigga. Or you could be a bomb and you could be a success. Like, nigga, you can't, you can't discredit somebody's experience, bro. That's what I get. Like I've, I've, I've been, I learned that at a young age, bro. Cause the the bombs, they they tell me some shit, and it'd be some real shit. Like, like yo, listen, man, don't go this way, go that way. Like, cause and I just like, not just like, uh, literally, but metaphorically, like, yo, I look where I'm at, type shit, or hey, listen, don't take the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. And he got insight. Think by attempting to imitate it against Jaren really reminded me why his students respect him so much. And you know what's crazy? People in the, people was upset about this in the manga because they're like, how the fuck did Master Roshi learn? Uh, he didn't even do it for real. He imitated it, you know what I'm saying? To the best of his abilities. And they said that was the closest human to ever achieve it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the more, it wasn't it, but it was the closest imitation of it. I, mean, I don't know why niggas is tight, bro. Just because he's some old head, he's not strong. Strength is not the only thing that matters. And that's what DBS has been trying to teach people. Nobody's paying attention. It's not only about strength. Much. Number two is free. Brute force does not win every battle. He's a dominating the universe six Fire. Saiyans. In my opinion, this is exactly what we should have seen more of in the anime. Compared uh, to universe they, seven. I ain't gonna lie. The anime wasn't terrible, but the manga, like, I feel like it's certain shit they should have kind of kept. This is definitely one of them. The other shit too, he did it in the, that was kind of the same. Universe six has poor excuses for Saiyans with the uh, exception of maybe Kale. Time. With their lack of battle experience, they're honestly more entertaining getting beaten in a corner, at least until they undergo some training from expert right. fighters. And number one is Gohan versus Kefla. I'm not going, hold on. The battle between Goku and Kefla was cool. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I didn't like that shit. That's one, that's one of the T.O.P. issues I had. Outside of the pacing, this, this was one of them. Excuse me. I hated that fight, bro. The Kefla fusion versus Goku and then going in Ultra Instinct and she's still contending. I get the fusion is strong, bro, but come on, bro. These are new Saiyans. They just now learning certain shit. Gohan and them was supposed to, you feel me, in the, in the fucking in the, in the anime, bro. They definitely, and what they say about Gohan back in DBZ, he is the strongest unfused character ever. You feel me? So this would have been perfect. And just to showcase that, yo. He still got it. Like, he trained up and he came back. And you know what I'm saying? He fought the, the strongest fusion in the T.O.P. And he dominated. Like, well, they eliminated each other. But they, he dominated, bro. Niggas making Goku fight. I was like, bro, I don't, I'm not jacking it. We ain't see enough of Gohan. And he had came back and trained. They sleeping on him, bro. The manga did it way better better with this shit bro but there's no reason why the universe six saiyan should be powerful to the point where they could even contend with ultra instinct facts facts he was bugging with that i was not jacking that he was bugging with that he 
him fighting her made more sense. And, and it also showcased our where he was as far as coming back in the series. Even with Fusion, Gohan battling Kefla proved to be more of a realistic bout in the manga, as he demonstrated to be just- And they should've expounded upon that when they came, when they brought it back to the fucking manga. I mean, when they brought it to the anime. But instead, they had him fighting the, the, the Namekians, and then I was like, man, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is this for real? You got Goku over here, come on, man. Cut it out. Just enough for the fusion in his current state and could likely become stronger if he needed to, as we've that, seen him do in the past. These what, are the top three. That would have made Gohan look even more tough, bro. They they crazy, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Y'all let me know how y'all, if y'all feel the same way, if y'all feel differently, for real.